Hi everyone, my name is Faz Khan and in this video I'll be talking about lineations. What is lineation? Lineation is defined by the linear elements in a rock, such as the linear structure seen in a Nice rock in picture A. Lineation is also defined by elongate features in a rock, including aligned prismatic minerals which can be seen in the microscopic picture, which is picture B, in which amphibole needles are aligned in an amphibolite rock. Few examples of lineation. These pictures show some general examples of lineation which occur in igneous and sedimentary rocks. For example, in the first picture, which is of sedimentary rock, we can see the lineation in a form of ripple crest marks. The bottom left picture shows the flute casts, which are oriented in a way they tell us that they are lineated. The third picture is of igneous rock, in which series of linear features are being developed in a rupee lava because of the flow of lava. There are two types of lineations, penetrative and non-penetrative. Penetrative lineations are almost exclusively found in plastic deformation and they are present everywhere in the rocks, while the non-penetrative lineations are found in brittle deformations and they only appear on the specific surface, like fall zones. Let's have a look at the penetrative lineations and their basic features. For the first one, we have stretching lineations, which are formed by parallel alignment of individual grains. The grains have been elongated or rotated during deformation. The second one is intersection lineations, which, which are nothing but an intersection between the two planes, the vertical and the horizontal plane. The third one is the crenulation li lineations, which are closely associated with the intersection lineations, but are different as they are comprised of the fold hinges. And the fold hinges are millimeter to centimeter uh, long. The fourth one is the boudinage, which are competent rock layers that have been stretched into segments. The last one is the pencil structures, which are formed when the foliation and bedding is prominent. The rock has the tendency to break up, as shown in the picture. Let's have a look at the lineation related to brittle regime or non-penetrative lineations. The first one is the fiber lineations where the minerals have grown in a preferred direction on fractures. As we can see in the picture, the minerals have grown perpendicular to one another and they are not linear. Fibrous lineation occur on a deformation surface. The second one is the slicken lines which are formed by physical abrasion of hanging wall objects into the foot wall. The smooth slip surface is called the slicken lines. Let's switch gears and talk about lineation and kinematics. In geology, kinematic means motion of the surface or block. Geologists always thought that lineation and kinematics have a link between them during deformation. In the picture below, it was thought that most lineation near the thrust zone are oriented almost perpendicular to the thrust, which was later rejected. That lineation was found parallel to the regional transport direction. Geologists la later came up with the theory that lineation in most cases is parallel to A axis and not B or C axis. As we can see in the right side of the picture, where the lineation rotate toward the A axis. Since we are talking about kinematics and a movement of the subsurface block, we have to know is fold hinges a better indicator for the linear for the lineation direction? The answer to that is no. Why? Because we can see in picture A, the plane of symmetry and the stretching lineation both are parallel to each other, while in picture B, the plane of symmetry is perpendicular to the lineation direction. So it's always unclear, it's ambiguous, we are not sure, you know, if the fold hinges is a better indicator. That's all from my side. I hope you guys have learned something new. Thanks for watching.